lawns. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Well, they do look good and it's better than bare dirt. I guess they put off oxygen. Yeah, but besides that, these are tough times. And we got to take a look at things, take a step back, you know, with, with grocery stores being looted, basically. What does this lawn do for me? Not a whole lot. That's why in this video, I'm going to take you through the steps of taking back over the lawn and making it into a vegetable garden. Let's do this, shall we? I cut the grass back as low as the lawnmower would get it. And then I use the clippings to make a compost pile. After I had some compost ready, I used this corner and did a no-dig method and planted some cover crop to inject some nitrogen into the soil. Several months later. So after one year, the cover crop has died off and this is what I'm left with. It may not look like much, but this is rich soil. So this is a long process. It took me about a year from the start of this video till now. So since the grass is dead, there's no need to have a sprinkler valve for that area. So now I'm going to tap into that valve and I'm starting right at the box. I didn't really see a point in digging up this existing sprinklers. I'm just cutting into them here and I guess if you wanted to hook it back up, you absolutely could. I recommend here if you have any cuts on your hand do not get it on your hand I'm pretty sure there's a alcohol or, or something similar it burns about this here it creates like a little seal too there we go Here I have a pressure regulator, which is essential to a drip system. It also has a filter. I bought most of these things off of Amazon and I will provide a link in the description.
I couldn't make all the compost I needed for the garden. I'm sure everyone needs endless compost. But this is one of the spots where I put the cover crop and I did the double dig method. I found out about the double dig method from Red Gardens. I'll put a link in the description to his videos on all of the ways to prepare garden beds. But I got a little bit of a, this garden amendment at the uh, Home Depot. And this plant right here is a sugar pumpkin that I started indoors. So this is my makeshift garden sifter. It had legs at one point, but they broke off. This is not a perfect sifter, but it gets the job done. And I am just sifting up the top layer, taking off all the weeds, the rocks, even the dirt clods, and it really works. doing the double dig method. I dug out the top layer and then I just use a shovel to loosen the second layer. Some people use a broad fork or a pitchfork but the shovel works just as good. And then I'm just sifting off the uh, the top layer of the dirt and I'm left with this fluffy loamy dirt. It's amazing. And then I'm just adding some some garden amendment and I even had some sand laying around. I added that as well. And this is a tomatillo plant. I figure it's pretty much just the same as a tomato plant. And I learned from Nature's Always Right YouTube channel that you can trim up these uh, plants because they're, they're pretty tall. And you plant them really deep in the earth and just leave a couple little twigs on top. It makes it look like a small plant, but it's really deep so it can really have deep roots and a, a good root ball. I did not have a drip hose end cap, but I did have some zip ties and some electrical tape. And it works surprisingly well. I don't think I'm gonna be buying those end caps anymore. They're usually like $2. And now the moment of truth. Turn on the valve and I'm just checking the line to see if there's any leaks or anything wrong with it. And just as expected, it looks great. So now I'm just punching the larger drip hose and adding in the smaller ones. Just using a barb tee and then just teeing off. And for these, I'm not exactly sure how much water to use. I mean, I'm in Phoenix, so they're probably gonna need a lot of water. So I'm gonna use a two gallon per hour dripper for each plant.
And just like that, the drips are fully functioning. All right, everybody, and that is it for this video. This is how you reclaim your lawn and get it into a garden. Especially helpful in this time where, you know, we're running out of food in the grocery store. It's kind of crazy times out there. These will be given fruit and vegetables within a month or two. Pretty helpful. If you like this video or you learned something, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.